Hi and welcome to another speed painting story time. So another frequent question I get asked is uh, how is Romania when people find out I live there here? Um, Asian will ask me if the country is stable and Americans will usually confuse it with Armenia or some other country which always makes for a fun story. And it can be a bit confusing confusing to get these types of questions. Uh, where do I even begin to unpack such a broad question? I would say that uh, Romania is not the worst, <laughs> I guess. Um, so for this video I chose this little fruit bat as a background since um, Romania is most known for vampires because of Bram Stoker, so I thought it would be fitting art for this topic of discussion. So, um, let's get into it, I guess. <laughs> so, the country does have issues, obviously, all do. Uh, in 2016, we held the world record for most migrations in times of peace. Pover poverty and corruption is a widespread issue in Romania, but uh, we're in the European Union. So, we're way better than a lot of other countries. Um, I visited about 20 countries so far. I've lived in the US, I visited Japan, and like each place has issues. Uh, for example, the gun violence in the US is just insane. It is unnatural, it is alien, it is weird, it is disturbing to me, like mass shootings. Uh, last one we had, I think, was the revolution back in 1989 uh, when we changed the constitution, the system of governments. Uh, mass shootings aren't a typical Tuesday afternoon for us, <laughs> so that's a plus for Romania. Of course, you might say it's an unfair comparison. There's like at most 20 million of us and the U.S. is a continent size and it's 300 million, but still even if you compare it with a similar state i think uh the culture is different enough between romania and the us to get this difference um another thing i would say is that i'm a girl i'm an ethnic minority but that has never been an issue for me like ever um i had other kids try and bully me when uh, i was in school because i had good grades and glasses <laughs> Uh, anti-intellectualist sentiments are a vestige of communism here so if you remember like Stalin he murdered a bunch of educated people um, fortunately for me I am above average height so I couldn't really be bullied because all my wannabe bullies uh, were always shorter than me uh, if they were female and only people that wanted to beat me and were taller than me were guys uh, but I was always faster than the would-be bully, so I was fine. <laughs> um, the country is about 80% Romanian and Orthodox, so we don't have any minorities big enough to be manipulated into any violence. Um, it's a fairly homogenous country. Uh, some interests have tried to rally the Hungarian minority into being belligerent by having people burning Hungarian flags in hopes that Hungarians would be upset. Um, it never really took off. <laughs> what happened in one very funny instance is that so uh, there was this very short woman that climbed on a chair in order to try and burn <laughs> a Hungarian flag on a mayorship village. A an mayorship building in a village that is mostly Hungarian, if I remember the story correctly. Um, normally all government institutions should have the Romanian flag on them, not Hungarian, because, you know, we're in Romania, we're not in Hungary. Um, also, we have a Hungarian political party, which isn't, I guess, normal parties shouldn't discriminate according to the constitution, I think. <laughs> Uh, but, like, nobody cares. Um, their own Hungarians don't care. That party is mostly a joke. Like, their own people don't vote for them. <laughs> and anyway, back to the um, bigoted munchkin. So, she tried to burn the flag, but because of EU, if you remember, we're in the European Union, so we have to follow a lot of EU rules. <laughs> uh, and the ones for health and safety standards um, mandate all flags have to be fireproof. <laughs> And she tried like four times 
in 15 minutes to burn it and all of this was of course caught on camera by passerbys and um it was just hilarious so <laughs> Uh, as much as foreigners know about Romania as the land of Vladi and Paler, uh, truth is Romanians are way too lazy to do any um, long-term ample violence. Uh, pretty much nobody is ever on time um, or working themselves to death like in other cultures. Um, I doubt we survived World War II because of strategic and highly coordinated combat stuff we mostly survived from what we were told in school anyway uh, because we flip-flopped every which way the tide of war blew <laughs> so yeah um, and another fun story is when I was um, played this online multiplayer game um, our server got run over, uh, got overrun with Russians because, of course, they're everywhere and causing problems. And they started taking over the server, uh, which caused the numerous Filipinos there to coagulate and start harvesting the other smaller guilds for manpower and resources to fight the Russian guild. <laughs> Uh, honestly, we play games not to be reminded of this stuff of real world, but anyway. So, um, our guild was international, but once the other Romanian players on the server found out the founders of our guild um, were Romanian, they started flocking to us. Uh, but we kept everything in English to continue to be an international guild, like we had Arabs and Filipinos and Malaysians and so on. And once our guild started being targeted for harvesting, um, the Romanians in our guild just split, you know, like when you turn the light on in the kitchen and the cockroaches just run every which way. Um, they just fled. <laughs> uh, while the um, members of the guild from the Muslim countries, like they stayed and fought until they were utterly destroyed, like there was nothing left of their castles. Um, the Romanians, meantime, regrouped and survived on, so as you can see, it's kind of, the culture is influenced by the mountains that we have. Uh, Romania's heartlands, its mountains, and the Latin culture of Romania has survived two millennia, two millennia, <laughs> millennia of invasions from foreign tyrants. <laughs> Um, so yeah, to answer the question, is Romania stable while it existed as a Latin country for 2,000 years and prior to that it existed in one form or another, you know, like you have Switzerland or Afghanistan, you know, mountains create kind of this island, cultural island, also actual islands like the UK and Japan, you get this stuff happen. So I'd say it's fairly stable now and has done better than its neighbors overall that have more flat land than us because um, we have been more protected by the mountains. Uh, and speaking of mountains, we have the biggest non-polar bears, the Carpathian bears. Yes, they are bigger than the grizzlies and those puny Siberian bears look it up it's true i didn't think it was true because you know you always get this propaganda oh russian bears so tough so big but our bears are bigger than bears nah, 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 nah. uh robberies do occur they are rarely armed uh usually you just get pickpocketed very stealthily like while i was in japan uh everybody just had their bags open like i could see their valuables inside the bags you cannot do that in romania uh, you hide your money and phone <laughs> in your underwear and even from there it may disappear. Um, so <laughs> if you want to visit Romania, we have nice castles and palaces. They're not as rich and fancy as France. Uh, Romania didn't have any colonies in Africa <laughs> um, or an empire. But we do have some nice buildings. Uh, we have beautiful mountains, great food, especially in the German, Greek, and Turkish former colonies. Like I said before, everybody invaded this place, Russians, Hungarians as well. So most of the food in Romania is a blend of cultures, so you kind of get a wide variety of stuff. 
Uh, German places are famous for cheese and sausages. Turkish places are known for oriental stuff and sweets and dishes. And these days with refugees and uh, immigrant inflows, we have a lot of Chinese and Indian restaurants and just more Asian yummies in general. So, um, yeah, we even have an opening to the miserable Black Sea. Uh, if you're from a landlocked country, that might impress you. Uh, but the Mediterranean Sea is way better, though. And if you are from a tropical place, to answer your most frequent questions, yes, we do have winter, yes, it does snow, and yes, it is awesome. The best part of it is when in April it's still snowing in the mountains, but in the flatlands it's spring and the rapeseed flowers are in bloom. Uh, that's a plant that we make oil out of and it has these beautiful yellow blooms. And uh, you can be in the mountains, sit in winter and look at spring down below. It is a surreal experience that I fully recommend. And so I'll leave you with this image enjoy and talk to you in the next video bye bye